Hi, Mark. Welcome to Ireland. You must be absolutely delighted to be here. Yeah, surely, surely. It's been quite um, a hectic time since I stopped, so there's a lot of things going on, but finally this is done deal and really happy to be here. You've just flown in this morning even, so just straight into the interview. What excites you to, to come to Ireland? Well, it's first and foremost, it's, a, it's an exciting project. Um, I think Ireland has underperformed a little for, for, the, for the recent years. Um, young, young and talented squad, but still with a lot of experience or international experience. So they have, they have games under the belt. Um, and I think, I think the future is, is here. So that is one thing. Secondly, I, I really like the, the administration, how they approached uh, their professionalism and how they kind of treated me with, with respect, etc. So that was another thing that, that really impressed me. When did you first hear of the interest, obviously, to come to Ireland? Well, it was, it was some time back, I heard, but uh, like, like others that, that kind of contacted, I told them I would be focused on Copa America and we decide after the Copa what we will do. So, no, it was, it was just um, an honour to be thought of as the next possible coach for, for, for the Republic. And obviously your first game is now looking ahead very quickly to September the 7th, England at the Aviva Stadium. Couldn't be a bigger baptism of fire, I suppose. Mm, no, similar to when I took over Jamaica first game in five, five days or six days, was we are playing Argentina, by the way. Right. So, <laughs> so, so it's a similar thing. But no, it's always good to play the, the top teams. It would always you know, expose your weaknesses, etc. So it's good to have a a tough, tough game as the first one, uh, but it will be a big test. Hopefully we, we will have a, a full house supporting Sorry. the the team and we never know. You never know in football. You obviously already have previous experience against England, that famous win for Iceland. You were head coach at that time. Obviously fantastic memories. Yeah, it was one of probably our biggest game in history um, and on a, on a big stage in the, in the Euros. So no, it was, it was a good memory, good memory. But what, what made Iceland successful at that time? And I suppose there's lessons from that. You could maybe try and implement here at all? Yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of similarities between the Irish and the Icelanders. Yeah. So the, the, the character is really similar. It's hardworking people, honest people, uh, enjoy life. Normally when they have a drink or two, they, they start <laughs> to sing. It's similar to, to both. Uh, countries, but but um, no, I think uh, I, I think the the values are similar, and I think we can do similar things on, on the on the pitch as well. So you know, there are some elements that you always need in in international football, and I think yeah, it's going to be exciting to see how much we can we can have hands on in the beginning. But of course, it will take time. Obviously, everything takes time. It's, it as well as a, like a style of play, you've obviously had chances to implement style of play with Iceland and Jamaica. What do you see you be able to implement here with this young team? No, I think um, what has been done in the past, the previous coaches, has been really helpful. So learning from that they have been doing from, from a little bit more ball possession type football. Uh, but I thought the John O'Shea took it a little bit back to more kind of basics. And we should always start from basics and build on from there. You've had time to look at the young squad, which you've referenced. Plenty, plenty of talent. So are you excited to work with this young talent and maybe bring them to the next level on an international stage? Yeah, like, like I said before, I think it's not only a, a young squad with potential, but they have already a lot of matches, international matches. So mm. that is a good thing coming into this environment. They all already have the experience of playing at this level, uh, which is always the toughest thing to give players the first games to. Mm. Some players need one game, others need 10 games to be like regular national team players, but they all have a, 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 a lot of games under the belt now. So that's a, that's a fantastic thing for, for me. And you, you, want, you, you obviously part of the role, speaking to Mark Cannon there, was that it, what you attracted you here was also to be part of the, the journey of Irish football. You know, there's obviously a bigger thing going on at the moment, football pathways plan, trying to implement from 
underage football all the way up to the international. Is that something you want to get involved in? Yeah, I did that back in Iceland. So mm. I was involved in uh, more than the first first national team. The same in, in Jamaica and the same when I was in Qatar. So no, not like I'm going to interfere, but it would be nice to give maybe one or two new ideas because it, it surely worked back home in Iceland. And so probably we can we can give some ideas. But yeah, no, that that is that is amazing to, to be a part of this. And I know there's a lot of good things going on here. Mm. Uh, let's hope we can we can make them all gelled so so that so the first team will, will spark something as well. And finally, 24,000 season ticket holders. It's one of the most in Europe, um, European footballs. It's quite an incredible home support we have here. Away support's always sold out, pretty much. How excited are you to get in front of the Irish support and make that connection with the supports? No, th this is unique, really, really unique. Um, and l like I said in, in, in initially, I think the Irish are hardworking, but they're also proud people proud of their, their heritage and who they are. And you can always build a lot around hardworking people, proud people. Mm. Uh, and, and if you can implement some other aspects, then the team should represent those characteristics on the pitch. So looking really, really forward to meeting the fans on the stadium. Well, well thank you very much. Welcome to Ireland. And uh, we'll see you at the Aviva Stadium soon. Well done.